Let's look outside. This is near the MGE plant on Madison's near east side, out towards Lake Minota. Good visibility, a crisp view of the horizon now with improving air quality hour by hour. That's because wildfire smoke finally exiting the region here in the next couple of hours to the state line. It's going to be drier and milder today. Next chance for rain arrives by Wednesday night to Thursday. Smoke is exiting this morning. Make sure to keep the windows rolled up here as we're heading into work with temps in the low 60s. I think by 10, 11 and onward is when things are going to be fine. We'll have much better air quality and we can breathe easy later today. Up to 71 by noon, 76 for your high later this afternoon. Current air quality showing improvements in central and northern Wisconsin, where we're back to good air quality and that flows coming out of the northwest pushing the poorer than normal air quality southward, but Beloit out towards Clinton, Lake Geneva, still in that unhealthy for some category in between Madison is moderate. But again, I do think we'll get back to good air quality across the region by around 9 to 11 at the latest this morning. As you can see that wildfire smoke exiting south of the state line, and it looks like again, it's going to be very comfortable setup today. A great day to get out and enjoy, especially later this afternoon. No smoke cover to track, and it looks like Smoke cover generally stays away on Tuesday as well. The culprit to get it all out of here was a cold front that came through, triggered a couple showers and storms late in the day on your Sunday. That front is now south of the state line, taking that poorer air quality with it. So yeah, that's all exiting quickly from the region. A couple of those storms yesterday evening were on the stronger side. Nothing technically turned severe, but we had wind gusts up to near 50 miles per hour on the north side of Lake Wisconsin. That's out near Merrimack. Also had some small hail reported near Lodi. That was it for storm reports, and that's it for storm chances uh, for the next couple of days. Dry this morning with lots of sunshine. Just a few fair weather clouds popping up this afternoon, but no rain associated with that. Sunnier setup all day on Tuesday. And then there you see our next chance for rain going to be late in the evening Wednesday with a few showers and storms coming in from the west, impacting the tri-state region first, but should start to reach the rest of our viewing area as we head to bed Wednesday night. The past week, impressive rain totals really helping out that drought situation, helping green up our lawns a little bit. We had nearly two and three quarters of an inch of rain. The weekly average is more like just a single inch, and that marks the wettest week we've experienced in over 300 days. You have to go back to September, uh, mid-September to get in on a wetter stretch of weather. 76 today. We have that smoke cover right now, but that's quickly exiting. Otherwise, mostly to partly sunny and cooler down to 55 tonight and tomorrow back to 81, which is fairly seasonal for this time of year. Plenty of sunshine and low humidity for Tuesday as well. Your seven day forecast showing us getting to 85, one of the warmer days of your outlook by Wednesday. And there you see our next shower and storm chance Wednesday night and Thursday. Could see a couple more showers and storms Saturday night and Sunday. So Saturday promising to be the drier of the two weekend days.